Good morning. Hello, fellow hams and YouTubers. Gotta say it. We're down here at the bench this morning. It's Saturday. But anyway, I uh, promised that we would do a video having a, a look at measuring things with the Marconi modulation meter 2305. So I've got a couple of things set up here and uh, we're going to make a couple of measurements with it. Now I've uh, glanced through the manual and uh, played around with it a little bit. And it's a big, super precise piece of lab gear, but it uh, really only measures oh, three things, three major things. There's probably some other tricks you could do with it, but uh, it measures a frequency um, with a frequency counter that's pretty accurate. And it measures FM deviation and AM modulation percentages over here. And uh, there's some variations on what it can measure that, with that, but uh, uh, pretty much it, it mostly just measures AM and FM modulation. Um, it has a 10 megahertz frequency standard uh, built in and uh, since I mounted it into the wall here I brought that around to a BNC connector I put on this wing over here so I've got a uh, reference, a 10 megahertz reference here I could use to uh, zero beat um, or tune older uh, radios or receivers with so that, that'll, that'll be handy. Um, RF input here, which is limited, which is uh, limited to one watt maximum. Uh, talk about that uh, a little further here in a moment. Uh, the frequency range that it will uh, receive and work with is 500 kilohertz, uh, the bottom of the AM broadcast band, up to two gigahertz. So uh, wow, it goes quite high. The RF uh, front end in this thing is is extremely wide. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Um, over here we've got an IF output. This is basically a receiver, um, a super het receiver with a computer that's making measurements. So there's an IF output that you could uh, sample if you wanted to measure uh, with another piece of equipment, other things. Uh, and what they say is an LF output, which is actually an AF output, audio output. Uh, if you've got modulated RF coming in, the demodulated audio comes out of here and you could hook it up to a, an amplified speaker and uh, monitor it. And I'll demo that too. So what I've got going on right now is I've got my old Heathkit uh, RF oscillator on about 50 megahertz feeding the input and I've also got that going over here to the oscilloscope. And uh, right now the frequency counter on the uh, Marconi is showing 50.0110807 so it's close. With the analog dial on this guy, I can't get it all that close. It's not, not all that precise. Um, and the modulation is showing 1.01%. Oh, 1 1 uh, I guess there's a little bit of uh, amplitude variation in the old RF oscillator, which again makes sense. It's 30 years old. It's a real simple circuit. Not a lot of precision in this uh, signal generator. But it does do AM. I can modulate a one kilohertz signal onto the carrier, which I'm going to do. And then we'll, uh, we'll uh, zoom in here and we'll uh, take a look at a few things. Okay, let me reposition the camera. Okay, so what I have on the scope here is our modulated output from the um, Heathkit. And I froze it because I wanted to use the cursor here Am I going to get in the shot? Yeah, I'm going to get in the shot. Let me come over here. Okay. Um, the trigger cursor, I'm going to compare. Let's see. This is the amplitude modulated audio, the one kilohertz audio on top of the carrier. Now, right now, uh, let's see, peak 320, bottom of the valley. 170, so that's uh, 340, 300, well actually 160, yeah 160, so yeah, so it's about double. Uh, so what we're seeing in the modulation is from the uh, lowest point to the highest point is about double the carrier strength. And as I recall, that would be about 33% modulation. And if we look over at the Marconi, Marconi is uh, reading 32.5% uh, modulation. So 
So that's, uh, that's reading AM modulation there. Now uh, remember I mentioned that this LF output is uh, actually audio, demodulated audio. I have that clipped into a set of amplified speakers. And sure enough, there is our one kilohertz modulated uh, audio coming out of the LF output. So you can use this as a monitor to monitor the, uh, the um, modulation you're feeding into the unit. Okay, so that's AM measurement and frequency measurement. What about FM? Well, I don't have a good FM generator that can provide a modulated carrier. So I brought down this little uh, thing, <laughs> Baofeng, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to uh, feed RF into the Marconi, and uh, we'll see how it uh, does on measuring FM deviation. Now, the RF input, like I said, is rated at, it says, 1 watt max. Um, I've got this on low power, which is supposed to be a half a watt, but uh, I really don't want to pump RF right into it. Um, what I did is uh, years ago, I took this BNCT and I cut the center pin on the uh, uh, straight leg of the T. So what that does is this doesn't make direct electrical contact. It uh, provides about like a one millimeter gap to loosely couple whatever is going through the T to the test gear. I did this for my frequency counters and it's probably going to work fine for the Marconi as well. So I'm going to put that on the input and I've got a dummy load up here that I'm going to put on the one side of the T and then we're just going to take a coax and on the other side of the T I'm going to hook up the Baofeng. And we'll turn it on and we'll go to 52 simplex and we'll key down. 146.52175. So hey, that's pretty close. That's not bad. Now what about modulation? I'm going to put this on FM. It's going to measure FM deviation. I'm going to zoom in on I'm going to zoom in on that uh, modulation readout. And I'm going to set this on peak hold. And I'm just going to key down the Baofeng and talk into it. Testing, 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 KB9RLW. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so it looks like our peak deviation was a uh, 6.6. .6 kilohertz. It's supposed to be 5 kilohertz deviation on uh, on FM on this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, 6.61. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know if I trust that because the Baofangs are known for having low audio. Let's put that on relative. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Uh, I can't turn on peak hold on relative, okay. This is KB9RLW testing. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hmm, that time it only showed three kilohertz peak. And when I generated the DTMF tone, we saw nine kilohertz. So, uh, hmm. I'm not sure what to make of that. Either the Marconi is uh, being a little generous, or uh, it's not reading right, or the Baofeng is uh, going well beyond 5 kilohertz deviation. <laughs> Let's do that again. I'll just do a DTMF tone. <phone rings> 20 kilohertz? I don't believe that. Let's turn off peak hold. Okay, all right, 6.4 kilohertz, that sounds more reasonable. I could, I could believe the Baofeng's a little over-deviating um, on that uh, DTMF tone, which is probably being injected too strong. Uh, I think that those peak hold um, numbers that were really high were probably just an initial pop 
you know, when I first keyed down a click that was uh, really high. I bet if I um, transmit, generate a tone, and then hit the peak hold button, somehow I'm going to have to uh, really get coordinated with the hands here. Yeah, okay, 6.5 kilohertz. I believe that. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's measuring FM deviation. So, you could uh, uh, feed um, power from a transmitter with an injected uh, signal. The way you normally measure deviation is you'll inject an audio signal into the uh, microphone input of the radio at a set level. Usually, the radio's tune up procedures will tell you, you know, 200 millivolts, one kil uh, peak to peak, one kilohertz tone, or something like that. And then you'd use this modulation meter to watch the deviation and you'd adjust the radio uh, to get the proper deviation. Um, the other buttons on the uh, Marconi, it has some adjustable features here. <coughs> we have various uh, IF filters that we can put in with um, different ranges. Uh, right now it's on the 10 to 300 kilohertz filter which is pretty pretty wide um, we could go 65 to 250 Hertz which is really low <laughs> that's a really narrow filter at a low end of the band I'm not sure what you'd use that for probably for some specific type of uh, radio test I'm not sure I, I'm familiar with 30 to 50 30 Hertz to 50 kilohertz and then these two have a negative 3 dB uh, indicator on them so they're uh, they have some attenuation um, 300 hertz to 3.4 kilohertz. Now that seems about right for uh, AM radio. Uh, yeah, in fact, that does seem right for AM radio. Uh, 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz. Um, that's pretty wide. <laughs> and then uh, de-emphasis. Uh, in you can uh, in, uh, switch in de-emphasis. You know, I, let me do that on the FM test again and turn on some de-emphasis, which. Otherwise, you could think of it like a de -esser. It uh, cuts down on the highs a bit. I'm going to do the uh, DTMF tone again. Yeah, you know, um, let's put that at 75. Yeah, the peak, the initial pop is a lot lower. Six point four kilohertz. So the uh, Baofeng is just slightly over deviating when you're doing a DTMF tone. Over here, you've got Auto Tune, which is uh, where it is listening for RF, and it's going to uh, lock into the strongest signal it picks up. In Auto Tune, it's constantly sweeping, looking for signals. Um, so what you would probably use hold for is to hold it on a certain frequency. Uh, calibrate runs it through a calibration cycle. It's an internal calibration cycle. And then these are your frequency measurement modes, uh, carrier, carrier error, and mod N, which I'm not sure what that is yet. I haven't found it in the manual. <laughs> but basically, it just measures modulation. So it's a, it's a handy little device. Um, I look at it as it's a very highly accurate frequency counter, um, a, a good 10 megahertz reference source. And uh, now I have the ability to do a deviation adjustment um, if I'm t tuning up a 2 meter uh, mobile, which is really nice. I haven't been able to do uh, deviation measurement or adjustment, so that's what this will be handy for for me. So that's a look at measuring things with the Marconi Instruments 2305. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.